I really need to work out. Amazing. That's usually an evergreen statement. I mean, I don't go to the gym as much as I should on a normal day, but thanks to two weeks in self-isolation, my step count has taken a nosedive. I desperately needed to figure out how to bring the gym to my apartment. So for the past week, I've been testing out a bunch of workout apps. There's no shortage of health and fitness apps that offer to do everything from tracking my diet and sleep to helping me build better habits. But I was looking for something very specific. I needed an app that would teach me workouts I could do in my small New York City apartment without any equipment. I was interested in trying everything from yoga to meditation to strength training and cardio. Oh wow, this is hard. And if the app tracked my workouts and motivated me to keep going, that would be a nice bonus too. And of course, I wanted to spend as little as possible. So here are the five apps I chose to test. Most of them got the job done, but there was one that I liked above all the rest. Nike Training Club was the best app I tested. The interface was clean and intuitive, and it was easy to sort and filter the workouts to find the ones I could do from home with no equipment. Each session starts with a warm-up as a reassuring trainer's voice guides you through each technique. Step one leg back and into a lunge position, reaching your arm from that same side up and across your body. A looping video shows you proper form and makes it really easy to follow along. That's not to say the routines themselves were easy. This 16-minute workout had me winded by the end. That was a workout. Ugh. To be fair, it was called Full Body Goal Crusher, and maybe I should have started with something a bit easier. Best of all, it's almost entirely free. There is a paid premium service that offers guided workouts and programs with expert trainers, but a vast majority of the workouts are totally free. And during the coronavirus pandemic, Nike is offering this paid premium service free to all users. Good job, Nike PR. Overall, Nike Training Club had everything I was looking for, and it set the bar really high. Sadly, the rest of the apps I tried all fell short in one way or another. Peloton came highly recommended. Now, I don't own a Peloton. I mean, where would I put it? And where am I supposed to get that kind of money? But the app claimed there were workouts I could do from home with no equipment. So I signed up for the free trial and I gave it a shot. Peloton's $12.99 per month service gives you access to daily live classes with expert trainers. You can also search through the back catalog of classes, but the interface made it clunky to find what I was looking for. I couldn't filter by equipment, so I had to check each class to figure out if I could do it without weights or a bike. And oddly, one class I chose that said no equipment necessary still had a section where the instructor told me to stop and go get on my Peloton bike. Woo! Nice work. We don't stop. The instructors are also super energetic and move from one technique to the next quickly, which sometimes made it hard for me to keep up. Two mountain climbers. You're gonna come up. You're gonna give me three squat jumps. Option. Give me a calf raise. There are a wide variety of classes and workout types, but the vibes just didn't work for me. I guess if you're the type of person who likes someone constantly yelling at you to push yourself harder. We don't quit. Not for nobody. You ready? Peloton might be your thing, but it was just all a bit too much for me. The Adidas and Fitbit apps are both very similar to Nike Training Club. Both have looping videos and instructors leading you through exercises. They track your workouts and motivate you with milestones and achievements. That's all well and good, but there were some serious shortcomings. The Adidas app is free, but offers a premium service for $9.99 a month if you're interested in the more advanced workout plans. But the app only has 30-ish workouts, and there were no options for yoga or meditation, at least that I could find. That's a pretty sad number when you compare it to the 350 plus workouts that are on Nike. And not that I really care about social features or whatever, but the newsfeed and collections didn't seem to update at all for me. So overall, it just felt like a dead app with bare bones features. Fitbit Coach is slightly better, but it comes with a price tag of $9.99 per month. 
I gave some of the free workouts a shot and they seemed fine. The interface was difficult to navigate and I had the same issue I did with Peloton in trying to find the workouts that I could do at home with no equipment. Both of these apps ultimately paled in comparison to Nike Training Club and I was kind of appalled that Adidas was trying to charge 10 bucks a month for less than what Nike had for free. And finally, the last app I tried to use was Adaptive. I say tried to use because I didn't actually end up using it. Adaptive locks all of its workouts and features behind a $9.99 per month price tag and doesn't offer a free trial unless you sign up for the $100 per year plan. But I did my due diligence and I signed up for the free trial, fully intending to cancel it after I tried some workouts. The only problem with that is I never even got to the workouts. It's forcing me to start with meditation. Because even after signing up, they were all still locked until I completed a 30 minute meditation. At that point, I was in no mood for a meditation and I was fed up with jumping through hoops. So I just deleted the app. All right, sorry, I can't do that. That's, yep, whatever. So yeah, if you're interested in adaptive, I don't know what to tell you, except that the app did a great job of convincing me that it wasn't worth the trouble. At least let me try some of your workouts before blasting me with pop-ups to sign up for your premium plan. The whole experience was just scummy. At the end of my week of testing, I can honestly say that besides Adaptive, I enjoyed my time with all of these apps. Each of them helped me enjoy a workout in quarantine in my small apartment with no equipment. And that's all I needed them to do. But the app I'm gonna stick with and the one that I recommend is Nike Training Club. It's got the most features, it's free, and it was just fun and easy to use. I'll be honest though, I have been sneaking in a little bit of Just Dance here and there when I don't feel like doing mountain climbers, which is all the time. Thanks for watching this video. I would love to know how all of you are staying in shape while self-isolating, so let me know in the comments below. And if you have critiques about my form or my dance skills, keep it to yourself. I'm working on it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube.